how to create a modern looking donut chart in Excel to help you out compare categories and to see how much the category, the specific categories represent in the total. And of course, you can use this donut chart into your presentations, into your reports, into your dashboards. Whenever you change the category in the list, as you can see, the donut chart is going to be automatically updated for you. So let's find out how can you do it step by step from scratch. Let's go. The first thing that you need to do to create any type of chart in Excel is to have a data set. And from your data set, you can create your chart. And it doesn't matter if your data set is large or smaller than mine. You can use your own data set. It's important to have, of course, the first column as the categories. And here in my example, I'm using dates as my categories, okay? And in a second column, I'm using the values that correspond with each one of the categories that I have. Okay, so use your own data set. Don't need to be equal, the, the same this, the data set that I'm using here, okay? And then as we want to compare one category with another, or basically compare one category how much the category represents in total. I want to create here a new row that is basically my total. Total. And here I want to add up all these values here. So equal sign, some function, double click it to select, one, two. And then I can select all these values right here that make up my values column. Close parentheses and then press enter. Okay, here we got the total. And now I can compare, let's say, how much my March, that is a category, represents in total. How much February represents in total? How much May represents in total? But to make sure it's possible and to make sure our chart is dynamic and it's going to be automatically updated whenever you change the category, for example, we can create here a list. So to the right of the spreadsheet, let's say in J3 cell, let's say this cell right here, but you can use any, any cell that you want. I'm going to use this one here. I can select, let's say, January, March, April and so on. So whenever I click in the cell, I want to appear here a list for me. And whenever I select any option of the list, my chart is going to be automatically updated for me. Okay, to make sure it's possible, I can select this cell right here and then I can go to data. And here to the right, data tools, data validation, this option right here. And instead of using allow any value, I want to allow list from source. I'm going to click here in this upper arrow and I'm going to select here all my column that make up my category. Now arrow and then OK. Now we are already done with the list. Now instead of just typing in manually the values that I want to select, I can click and select here the value. It's, it's much easier. Now to make sure we can compare, let's say, any category that we have with the total and see how much it represents in the total, I can use the VLOOKUP function to bring it back, let's say, the February value. Or whenever I change it here, I can bring it back as result the April value and so on so on. And to do it, to bring it back as result with a criteria, I can use the equal sign, the lookup function, double click it, one, two, to select. My lookup value here is going to be the April month, the category that I have here, and I can change any time. And the lookup function is going to be automatically updated for me. Comma. And then I'm going to select here my table array as all these values that I have here above. And then comma again. I'm going to use as index number the column, the column number two, because my first column is the category and the column number two is the is the values and the values are what I want to bring it back as result. So we're going to type it in here, the number two, okay, comma, and now we're going to use exactly match. So double click here, one, two, close parentheses and then enter. Okay, so this is the result. I can right click here and put it in currency format, for example, like this. And basically we are almost done. One thing that we can do here is just now make the percentage that this value right here represents in the total. Okay, so equal sign, this value right here, divides by this value right here, enter. So the value that we are looking for divides by the total. I can select this value right here and then click in home tab and put it in percentage. Okay, 7%, I can increase here the decimal numbers. One, two, and yeah, we're basically done with these numbers. Now the last step here, just below here, just underneath this, 6% I'm going to use equal sign 1 minus this percentage right here. Enter. Okay, so now we have either the total and the value that we are looking for. And whenever I change here the month, so for example February, as you guys can see the percentage and all the other values is automatically updated. Now it's time to create the done chart here in Excel. And to do it, I'm going to click in any blank cell that we have in, into your spreadsheet. And then I'm going to click here insert. And I'm going to select here the pie chart, but I don't want to use the pie exactly. 
I'm gonna use download chart. So click here. And yeah, the chart is already in the screen, but I, you can't see anything because it's blank. There isn't any type of information here. So right click in the chart and then select data. And I'm gonna start here with this left area here where I have legend entries, series. So add, and then the series name, I can just type it in, let's say, uh, slices, because here we're gonna do the slices into your donut chart. So I can create here, let's say, two slices, one to the left, one to the right, or I can create here four slices, or, you know, eight slices, and so on, so on. Here I'm gonna want you to add 10 different slices. So we're gonna type it in one, comma, one, comma, one, 10 times, okay? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I can click here, okay, okay again. And as you guys can see, I, I have here now 10 different slices. One thing that I'm gonna do here in, in the layout me is just delete this, this title, and then click here in the legend and read it off too. And then I'm gonna right click in the slice format data series. And it's gonna open here this right panel. And I can, let's say, click here in the effects. I'm gonna start with shadow. And then I'm gonna click here in the shadow and select the first option. One little change that we can do here is this transparency. I can just decrease it to 30, enter. And here in the field by line, I can click in border, solid line, and I can change blue to white. For example, 1.5 in the width. And in fill, I'm gonna use, let's say, solid fill. And I'm gonna stick with a blue color. As you guys can see, I just have here two custom blues that I just used before. If you want to customize your own colors, you can click here, more colors, and then you can make your own color. And if you want to copy this blue that I just did before, you can just copy here these values and then press OK here above. Or you can either click here in the standard option and select any type of color that you want. OK, so my design is done. And now one last step that we can do here is to add another donut chart within this chart area, but this time we're gonna add it in this donut chart over this chart that we already have here. And this second chart that we're gonna add in here is gonna be responsible to make the chart dynamic and change colors as the percentage grows or as the percentage decrease the value, okay? So let me just right click here in the area and then select data, go to the left, series, I'm gonna click add, and then series name, I'm gonna just leave it blank, series value, I'm gonna select and delete. And then I'm gonna click here in this upper arrow and select this two percentage that I have here, okay? This two, and then now arrow, okay, okay again. And as you guys can see, we already have here two different donut charts within one chart area. This chart that we have just outside, we're gonna just put it in over the blue donut chart. And this chart that we have outside the blue chart, it's gonna be responsible to make our chart dynamic and change colors and grow, grow in size and grow in slices and make your slicers larger or smaller depending on the percentage, okay? So to make to make it, let me right click in the chart and then I go to change chart type. I'm gonna click here. And in the last option, combo, I'm gonna use chart type. I'm gonna use donut chart for both options. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna select the pie chart, the donut chart. And for series number two, I'm gonna do the same thing here, donut chart. And one important step here, the secondary axis, I'm gonna change. Instead of select the first one, I'm gonna select the, the second one. So I'm gonna select the second one and okay. Basically we're done. And one thing that we can do now is just the layout, the design of the chart that we can change. So, okay, let me just click here in this donut chart that we have over the another one. And then let's say I'm gonna click here in borders, no line and here in the blue one let me just select the blue one okay so I, I click again to confirm and then fill no fill okay and then i go to effects shadow and then i'm going to select the first option and of course i'm going to change its transparency to 30 percent third enter and to this orange one i'm going to do i'm going to click here the orange slice and i can go to the fill line fill i'm going to select solid fill and instead of using blue or i'm going to use here the black color so I can select, and instead of using this solid black, I can make it a little bit transparent. So for example, maybe 40%. I think it's, it's pretty much good. And then I can close here this right panel, and we basically done. Whenever I change here my value, my category, so February, March, I can change to January, and as you guys can see, it's gonna be automatically updated for me whenever I change here the category. Now the last thing that we can do here is just to add a percentage within 
this this void this hollow that I have here okay so I can just add it in here the percentage in this hollow so let me just click here in the insert tab and then here to the right text text box and I'm gonna click here click hold and drag to make sure I can do here a area and I instead of just click inside within my text box I'm gonna click here in the borders okay now here to the formula bar I'm gonna type it in equal sign and then I'm gonna select here the first percentage number enter and as you guys can see the percentage number now is within our text box and one interesting fact here whenever you change your category you you can see that the percentage is going to be automatically updated for you let me just click here in the home tab and i'm going to ally everyone to the center and to the middle i'm going to increase the font size to let's say 18 i'm going to put it in bold and i'm going to change the color the, the font color to blue let's say this blue right here and one last step shape format shape outline no outline, shape fill, no fill. And as you guys can see, it's pretty much done. We're done a chart here in Nixel. One last, last step that we can do is just click in the chart and move it to the left because as we already have the chart, you don't need to use anymore the data set. If you want to use the data set anyway, you can stick with your chart here uh, in any other part of your spreadsheet, okay? But I don't want you, nobody see my data set. So we're going to stick with my chart here to the left i can increase it a little like this for example and it's pretty much a good idea to instead of using data set using a chart because you can use it into your presentations or into your dashboards reports and so on so on now let me take this percentage here and just put it in just in the middle of the chart you can use of course your keyboard keys to make sure it's pretty much easier to make these tiny adjustments like this of course, I can increase a little bit the font size to 24, for example. And one last step, Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, to copy and paste this text box. And then I'm going to put it one here just above, the another one text box. And instead of using this percentage here, I'm going to use, let's say, gonna, let me delete everything that I have in the formula bar, equal sign, and I'm going to click here in the cell that I have the category, enter. And as you guys can see, now into your chart, let me just increase a little bit this, this area right here to just appear the percentage symbol. Let me come back here to the category. I'm going to increase a little bit and put it in bold and make sure it's with a blue font too, like this one. Okay, I think it's good now. And whenever you change or move the position of your chart, let's say click and hold, as you guys can see, these two text box here is stay in the same place. So it's not moving with the chart to just tie it together everyone you can select let's say the chart and then control key you can press the control key into your cable keyboard and then select the percentage and then select this text box here above now we can go to shape format and go to group group everyone and we're done guys whenever now we change here the category as you guys can see the chart is going to be automatically updated for you and if you want to change here the layout and design of this category you can click here in the home tab increase a little bit change the color to let's say a blue color put it in bold to make it easier to, to read and yeah and you can click here and drag to the left if you want like this for example view grind lines that way we can remove the grind lines that just separate the columns and the rows okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions any suggestions to the next videos comment down below let me know and i see you tomorrow as everybody has a new video i see you there